As the world's economic powerhouse gets going again from Chinese New Year closures, market pricing for key seafood products has seen notable adjustments. For Pollock, Russian boats are rejecting all offers from China processing plants below 900 per metric ton USD, current pricing is around 950 for Russian fish. Around this same time last year Pollock pricing was around 1300 per metric ton, or about 60 cents per pound USD. For Atlantic Cod, Norway trawl frozen at sea raw materials have gone up to around 5,500 per metric ton, about $1,000 more than around a month ago. Note that this price may not be the ceiling yet as around this time last year, Norwegian FAS got up to 6,200 per metric tons. For Haddock, pricing has gone up as well from $2,000 back in December to over 2,800 per metric ton now for Norwegian trawl FAS. On the catch side, the Pollock harvest in Alaska has significantly increased in recent weeks, with almost 300,000 landed, reaching a pace that closely mirrors, yet still slightly trails, that of the previous year. Meanwhile, as highlighted in last week's update, Russia's Pollock catch has achieved approximately 500,000 metric tons. It's being reported that the Pollock caught in the Gulf of Alaska for single frozen fillets is yielding mostly 4-ounce size fillets. These would be most suitable for 2 to 4 ounce production, and not for 4 to 6 ounces or 6 to 8 ounces. It is recommended to be proactive on 4 to 6 ounces and 6 to 8 ounce needs for the A season with available 2023B inventory. For Atlantic Cod, the combined current harvest from Iceland, Norway, and Russia is approximately 100,000 metric tons, maintaining a pace similar to last year's. Despite Norway and Russia facing quota reductions of nearly 100,000 metric tons this year, it is anticipated that total landings will reach around 300,000 metric tons by year-end. For Iceland, projections suggest a total of about 200,000 metric tons will be landed by the end of the year. For Haddock, the current harvest from Iceland, Norway, and Russia stands at approximately 20,000 metric tons. Projections indicate that total landings from these three regions will reach around 150,000 metric tons by the end of the year. Our recommendation is to secure your seafood requirements now. With Russian origin seafood banned from the US, and still room for pricing to trend upwards, it is advantageous to act now to mitigate the risk of future cost increases and to ensure inventory. If you're not already, be sure to subscribe to our 3-minute market insight to keep tuned in to further market updates. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-minute market insight. This has been Daphne, reminding you to buy smart and eat more seafood.